Good morning. Thank you for coming. I'm Attorney General Eric Schneiderman. I'm joined here today by uh, uh, our great mayor, uh, Byron Brown, our great county executive, Mark Polencars, Maria White, the chairwoman of the Buffalo Erie Niagara Land Improvement Corporation, and also by our the city council president, Rich Fontana, councilman and my spiritual advisor, Darius Pridgen, uh, <laughs> town of Chictawaga supervisor, Mary Holtz, um, supervisor, uh, uh, Sheila Megan from West Seneca, at the, the town of Tonawanda supervisor, and Anthony Carolina, and uh, Chictawaga town member Charlie Martell. I thank everyone for being here. These folks have been working with uh, the mayor and the county executive on uh, efforts to revitalize housing and, and expedite the recovery of Buffalo and of all of Erie County. And I'm pleased to be here today. Uh, for this announcement, because in addition to being one of the one of the great cities in the country, Buffalo uh, is also a perfect place to talk about many of the most vexing housing and land use challenges facing communities all across the United States. And today we're talking about one of the many devastating legacies of the national housing crisis. Since taking office, I have uh, spent a lot of hours on this issue. The creation of the bubble an inflation of the housing market and the crash that inevitably took place because of the low quality of mortgages being given out, the inappropriateness of giving mortgages to many of the people who receive them, and the uh, reckless conduct in the pooling and marketing of the mortgage-backed securities that those mortgages were deposited into is something that has been a primary focus of attention in my office. And uh, I'm proud of the fact that uh, the President of the United States made me the national co-chair of an unprecedented federal state working group to look into the misconduct that blew up the economy. We have uh, brought relief already to the state of New York by way of the first of our major settlements, the national mortgage settlement that took place um, last year. In New York, uh, HUD originally projected that we would receive about $600 million in relief for New York homeowners as a result of that settlement. In fact, because Working with my colleagues in local government, we invested, I would like to say, uh, more intelligently than many other states. We, New York homeowners received over $2 billion of benefits, including principal reduction on loans, rate reductions in the first year of the program, three time, more than three times HUD's original estimates. Uh, as the first step, we funded our HOP Network Homeowner Protection Program, which provided legal services and housing counseling for people across the state so they had someone to work with them when negotiating with a bank. Um, and as a result, uh, that program has already helped well over 20,000 New York families. And while we've done a great deal to keep more New Yorkers in their homes, uh, again, in partnership with our colleagues in local government, because this is really where uh, the action is, talking to homeowners, talking to families, people who just don't really know where to go. The legal services agencies that we fund and the housing counselors are local agencies that uh, are supported by my colleagues here. Uh, we are now taking another step. We're trying to now address the scourge of vacant, dilapidated, abandoned properties. And there are tens of thousands of them in Buffalo and all across Erie County. And these vacant properties affect everyone. They affect the community. They bring down property values. They affect uh, crime rates. They can become havens for criminal activity. They're a blight on the community. They just, they undermine the tax base, making it harder for local communities to fund services. So to address this problem, the legislature passed a law in 2011, the New York State Legislature, uh, authorizing the creation of land banks in communities across the state. And Erie County was one of the smart communities that set up a land bank, a uh, nonprofit organization that is empowered to acquire tax delinquent and uh, foreclosed or abandoned properties, rehab them, tear them down, deal with the situation how, according to their best planning and, and their best uh, understanding of what's the future, what is the best plan for the future of that community. Unfortunately, the law uh, setting up land banks did not provide any funding, which is something that happens a lot in the New York State Legislature. Um, so we decided that we were going to use some of the proceeds of our first settlement with the banks to fund land banks. And I'm, I'm very pleased that today we're announcing uh, that we're the first round of grants, first round of, of responses to our request for proposals, and that uh, the Erie County uh, uh, Buffalo Land Bank, Buffalo 
Erie County Niagara Land Bank is going to be receiving in excess of $2 million in the first round. I want to emphasize that this is just the beginning. Um, there has been some attention in the press to the fact that we're negotiating, the working group that I co-chair has been negotiating a deal with a, a major bank. Uh, right now, that hopefully will result in more funding for programs like this. But I have to emphasize that a lot of cities across New York State and a lot of counties did not bother to set up land banks, did not have the vision of my colleagues here. And we want to give uh, the land bank in uh, Buffalo, Erie County, and Niagara, it's, the acronym is BENLIC, but I'm not going to use that. I, I'm not going to use that, uh, guys. Um, it, we want to give them a chance to succeed. We want them to do the following with the first round of funds. Um, we hope that they're going to now be able to hire full-time staff, uh, demolish some severely blighted properties that are uh, owned by the cities of Buffalo and Lackawanna, convert ba vacant lots into a side lot program so that the adjoining homeowner can get the plot and start paying taxes on it, um, and support the renovation of distressed homes that then can be resold with the monies redeposited into the land bank. So this is just the beginning. When uh, land banks start up, they've had a tremendous success in the city of Flint, Michigan, which was one of the pioneers. They've dealt with thousands and thousands of distressed properties, and it's a key to survival. And I do think that in New York, because we are obtaining the funds from the banks that caused this problem in the first place to fund these kinds of creative projects, Buffalo will serve as one of the models for the country as well. Uh, a lot of good work has been done here already. A lot of uh, property has been cleared out. We are uh, here to work with our colleagues in local government to ensure that the funding continues to flow. And this money can be leveraged with funding from other state and local programs. In some cases, for planning purposes, even private foundations have been contributing. Uh, this is the first round. We'll provide a second round of funding in the year ahead. And now I would like to introduce uh, uh, my former colleague in the state Senate and a great friend of mine, leading a great economic revitalization in the city of Buffalo, your mayor, Byron Brown. Well, I certainly want to thank Attorney General Eric Schneiderman, who certainly uh, is a good friend, a good friend of Buffalo and Erie County and all of Western New York, for his leadership and partnership on this issue. And one of the first things that the Attorney General did was ask us what we needed. He listened to us. He asked us what he could do uh, to help us with the issue of vacant and abandoned properties in Buffalo and in Erie County. Uh, and uh, we are so pleased that the Attorney General is providing us with $2 million of resources that we can use for our land bank, uh, which is a collaborative effort. Uh, the Attorney General mentioned uh, the acronym and uh, the Buffalo Erie Niagara Land Bank uh, name. Uh, it is a long name. It's a little bit of a mouthful. But it shows the collaboration that we have here in Buffalo and Erie County and the recognition that the problem of vacant and abandoned property is not only in Buffalo, but it's throughout Erie County. Uh, this has been a great partnership with the municipalities in the region. I want to thank the county executive, Mark Polencars, and all of my colleagues that are standing here uh, for their partnership. Uh, in the city of Buffalo, when I came into office in 2006, we inherited a significant problem with vacant and abandoned property. Over 10,000 structures uh, that were vacant and unsalvageable, unrehabable. Uh, we've been able to demolish almost 5,000 of those structures, but it is a very expensive property proposition. Uh, what the Attorney General has done for us today is give us more resources where we can clean up the landscape of the city of Buffalo and throughout Erie County where we can make those pro uh, properties uh, more salvageable, make them safer uh, for the community. In Buffalo, we will be able to use a um, million dollars of this money from Attorney General Schneiderman uh, to demolish about 50 unsalvageable structures in the community, some residential structures, some of those structures uh, that are adjacent to homes where people have been living for, in some cases, 30 years, 40 years, and 50 years, where those properties are a significant blight in 
otherwise nice neighborhoods. Uh, so uh, we are very pleased. I'm very thankful as mayor of the city of Buffalo. We're always looking for resources to continue the investment and the development that we're seeing in Buffalo. This is a record time of investment for us. Over $1.7 billion of economic development. Uh, and with these resources from the Attorney General, we will be able to continue to accelerate the pace of development in our city. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very Honor. much. Thank you, Your Honor. Um, and now uh, a great partner in government um, who is uh, doing a terrific job, worked very hard in communities throughout the county and is a terrific manager and uh, uh, is an incredibly talented public servant, your county executive, Mark Polenkars. Thank you for those kind words, and uh, thank you for all that you've done to get us here to this point, because it's because the strong efforts of Attorney General Schneiderman to hold the banks and financial institutions accountable for what they've done to help in some ways destroy neighborhoods and destroy cities and towns that we're here today, because we needed a strong leader to stand up to them, and that's exactly what he's done in the past, and I know what he continues to do today, and I'm very hopeful that they'll be able to uh, extend what they've done uh, so that we can not only uh, talk about the things that are happening with land banks across New York State, not only today, but all types of issues with holding these banks and financial institutions accountable. Because they have to understand that when a mortgage goes bad, it's not just a piece of paper. It's a family. It's a home. And they have to understand that when that family and home leaves the house that they called their home, there's many issues that unfortunately the rest of society has to take care of. And as we've seen in Erie County, in the city of Buffalo, or all the towns, this is not located in one spot. Distressed properties, distressed housing happens all across the entire community, and that's why it's very important uh, that, that we're here today. And I say thank you to the Attorney General for coming up with this program and giving us the opportunity to, to play a part in it. Uh, as County Executive, uh, I want to thank also uh, Mayor Brown, because it was uh, approximately a year and a half ago or so where we sat down to help figure out that as a community we were going to apply for a land bank through New York State, that we knew that we could not solve this issue one-on-one. On uh, one on one. The city couldn't solve their issue, the, the county could not solve issue, our issue, because our issues are the same. So once again, I want to thank Mayor Brown for, for agreeing with me that if we applied for a land bank as a united community, we would succeed, and that's one of the reasons why we're here today. So once again, thank you. Thank you for agreeing to do that. And as a result, the Buffalo Erie Niagara Land Improvement Corporation, <laughs> Menlik, or as we like to call it, the Land Bank, uh, is going to be the recipient of, of $2 million plus from the Attorney General's office, which will certainly help address the needs not only in the city of Buffalo, but across the entire county. Uh, it wasn't uh, too long ago I was in the town of Tonawanda with Supervisor Caruana as we were looking at a house that basically had been abandoned by the owner and had become a tremendous blight on what otherwise was a wonderful neighborhood. We've gone in West Seneca with the supervisor. I've gone into Chictawaga with Supervisor Holtz to address the issues there. And what we see is while there's dotted lines on a geographic map, distressed properties can go from community to community regardless of what the dotted lines say. And that's why it's so important that we're able to work together to address these issues, whether it's in the city of Buffalo, the town of Chictawaga, the village of Angola in our southern tier, because each and every one of us understands that if we're going to solve the problems of, of holding these banks accountable and addressing the distressed properties that are often left because of their bad loans and their bad mortgages, we need to do it united as a community. So on behalf of everyone in Erie County, I once again want to thank the Attorney General for all his hard work in getting us to this day. Thank all my partners in government because we're here united as one community to solve the problem of distressed properties because we know if we work together, we can solve this issue. And the funds that we receive today will go a long way to ensuring a much brighter future for all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And finally, uh, we want to hear from uh, Maria White, who I guess is responsible for coming up with the acronym for Ben Lick, um, <laughs> who is going to tell you a little bit more about the work they plan to do. Uh, she's the chair of the board of the uh, land bank, and she is someone who is going to be uh, putting all of our fine words and good intentions into action in the weeks and months ahead. Thank, Thank you so you. much. <clears throat>
So I want to add my voice to the echo chamber of folks that have thanked the Attorney General really for your leadership at a national level in making, investing in things like this such a priority. So thank you so much for doing that. And I would like to thank his staff for reviewing this uh, 100 page document, which was in fact our application to, um, to the AG's office. So thank you so much for the good work of the AG's staff as well. Um, the other folks that I think really are worthy of being thanked uh, appropriately is the collective leadership of the folks behind me. You know, it was really because of their collective leadership and coming together to create what I think is a historic agreement on a common problem in Western New York, which is the problem of vacant and abandoned properties. Uh, and all of the elected leadership uh, behind me really has uh, come together to, uh, I think, to get us to the point where we are today. Um, before I was serving as the commissioner of the Department of Environment and Planning and had a role in the land bank, I was um, the uh, uh, sixth district Erie County legislator, and I represented a district that had a lot of problems with vacant properties. And it's been said already, but it's worth underscoring that a vacant property, really your best case scenario is you know, just having a rodent problem around that property. Very often you are dealing with something far more sinister than a rodent problem. And that vacant property really spreads into the rest of the neighborhood and causes a destabilization in the rest of the neighborhood. And so with all of the great work across the country, um, really with Flint, Michigan helping to lead the way, uh, land banks emerged as one of the key tools in helping us address that problem of vacant properties. And it's at this juncture that I really want to acknowledge the good work of the board and staff um, of the Buffalo Erie Niagara Land Improvement Corporation. We are um, joined by several other board members, Brendan Mahaffey from the city of Buffalo, Mike Saragusa from Erie County, Frank Krakowski from the city of Lackawanna are all board members here. And I want to acknowledge your good work as a board to help come up with kind of the innovative and thoughtful approach that Ben Lake is taking to the property revitalization efforts here. Um, really the the work of the staff of the City of Buffalo's um, uh, Office of Strategic Planning and the volunteers uh, that have also joined with us from the Western New York Law Center, Push Buffalo and others have just been great in helping us get to this point. Um, I will say, you know, the application that we made to the AG will allow us to target a variety of uses. The Attorney General spoke about that already. Uh, some demolitions, some part of the side lot program and some part of our rehabilitation and resale program. And I really just wanted to highlight what I think is one of the most innovative aspects of our application, which is that uh, that renovation and rehabilitation program, because we um, established, again, through the good work of the board and our working group, uh, established a proceeds distribution policy that will guarantee a certain portion of the proceeds will go back into uh, Benlick operations and allow us to continue the sort of future sustainability and good work of the land bank going forward. That's important to you so that you can ensure your investment has the kind of good uh, and lasting impact that you want it to have. Uh, and that's important to our community to make sure that we can maximize the effect of our work. Um, I guess the only thing that I'll close by saying is that, um, you know, this resource, this investment from the Attorney General's office helps us and by us, I mean the land bank, really get on the map with a record that we can then use to apply for additional resources from the private sector. Um, I intend for that record to be a record of success. I intend to then submit another highly competitive application to the attorney general and to ensure that we continue to get some future resources for this much needed operation. So thank you again so much for your great thank leadership. You and we'll look forward to staying in touch as the successes unfold. Thank you. Thank you, Maria. And it, it is very important to note, and she has the big uh, binder with the application in it, that this is something uh, that we set up this program to challenge local governments to see that they could come up with specifics for a real proposal. And again, I want to emphasize, a lot of places in the state did not even set up land banks, much less come up with proposals that have enabled us to award them funds. We were working with other local governments to try and get them to do it. But here in Erie County, here in Buffalo, uh, your local officials have done the job. This is only the first round. And as Maria said, we will provide funds and we'll continue to provide funds. But this, what's showing success here, enables you to leverage resources from the private sector, uh, in some cases from foundations, from other government programs, 
We're all about working with you as colleagues to get the housing market moving and to participate as well as we can in the great work you are all doing every day for the revitalization of Erie County. Thank you very much.